Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this mega menu using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, I showed you how to design these menu titles over here and in this video, we will design these sub menus. So we will make it look like these menus over here. So let's get started. <laughs> So first of all, let's go ahead and target the images and we'll set the width to 100% of the parent. So if you go back to the HTML file and if you scroll down here, we can see that inside the sub menu division, we have a division with the class of call three and in that we have the IMG tag. So let's target that. Here I'll just tap sub menu, call three, IMG and let's set the width to 100%. And now if we set the width of the parent, the image will have the correct width. All right, so now let's go ahead and style this uh, first submenu over here. So if you go back to the original design, here we can see that for the first submenu, we have this heading at the top. And uh, after that, we have these three columns over here. So that's the reason why we have given this name of call three for this class. So for that, let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's target this call three division. So let's tap sub menu, call three, and uh, let's set the display to flex. Let's set a gap of 32 pixels. Now if we go back to our design, here we can see that we have all these uh, items one next to the other. Now we can see that the content of the website is also displayed inside this sub menu. So let's add a background color. So if we go back to the HTML file, here we can see we have this division with the class of sub menu. So let's target this. This is the container division of this call three. So let's type sub menu. And for the sub menu, let's tap background and let's set it to white color. And now we can see we have a white background. And we'll also add some padding. So let's tap padding and let's set the padding to 16 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right. And we'll also add a margin top and let's set the margin top to 10 pixels. And let's also add a box shadow. So let's type box shadow and let's set the values to 0, 4 pixels, 50 pixels, negative 7 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2. And now we can see we have this box shadow. Now if you go back to the original design here, we can see that after this heading, we have this uh, underline. So for that, we can add a border top to this call three division. So let's go back and here for the call three, let's go ahead and type border top and let's set it to one pixel solid and we'll set the color to RGBA to 48, 71 and for the opacity, let's tap 0 0.2. And now we can see we have this uh, line. Right now, let's go back to our code and if you go to the HTML file, here we can see that uh, inside the call three, we have H4s for these headings, laptop, camera, and audio. So let's go ahead and style this. So here I'll just add some basic styles. Here let's type mega menu container H4 and we'll just set a margin of eight pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right. And now we can see we have the correct margin. Right now the next thing we need to do is style these uh, products over here. So if we go back to the original design, this is how it looks and we also have a hover effect for these. So let's go ahead and style these products. So if you go to the HTML file, here we can see we have this UL and in that we have the list items and we have these anchor tags for the products. So let's style these list items and these list items should actually contain just one anchor tag. So let's go ahead and uh, cut this ending tag from here and uh, we can paste it over here after the first anchor tag. And we need to do that for all these anchor tags. So just quickly do that. And let's do it for the last anchor tag. Right now we have these list items with the anchor tags inside that. And let's style these. So let's go to the style CSS file and uh, let's type sub menu. And in that we have call three. And in that we have UL and in the UL we have list item. And let's go ahead and set the padding to zero. And we'll set a padding left. And let's set the padding left to 12 pixels. And uh, this is how it looks. And uh, let's also set some margin. So let's tap margin. 
and let's set the margin to 12 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and now we can see we have the correct margin now we also need to have this green line on the left side of these products so for that we will use a before selector so let's go back and uh, let's type submenu call 3 and ULLI colon colon before and uh, let's type content and I'll just set it to blank now we need to position this before selector relative to this LI so here let's type position relative and uh, here let's type position absolute and let's set the height of the element to 100% and uh, let's set the width to 2 pixels and we'll set the left value to 0 and let's set the background color to a green color so here we have this color 90EE90 and now if we go back to our design here we can see that we have these lines on the left side now when you hover over this we need to increase the width a little bit for the horror effect so let's type submenu call 3 ul li colon hover colon colon before and this will add the styles to the hover so here let's set the width to 4 pixels and we'll also change the color a little bit so let's type 5ae15a and we'll also add a smooth transition so let's type transition of all to 400 milliseconds ease and now let's go back and uh, let's hover over this and we can see that we have the correct horror effect now let's also style this uh, heading right here so this heading is basically an S3 so here we can see we have this S3 so let's style this let's go to our style CSS file and let's type submenu S3 and uh, let's set the margin to 10 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and now we have the styling for the S3 right now the last thing we need to do is we need to add a simple animation when we hover over these uh, menu titles so here we can see when you hover over this the sub menu slides in from the bottom so for that let's go back and uh, let's go to the sub menu container so here we have the styles for the sub menu container and here let's go ahead and set a transform translate y and let's set it to 20 pixels and we'll also add a smooth transition so let's tap transition of all 200 milliseconds ease and here for the hover effect let's go ahead and type transform translate y 0 and now let's go back and now if you hover over this we can see that we have the animation right this looks all right now let's go ahead and style the second sub menu which is for services so let's go back and let's go to the html file and if you scroll down here we can see for this one we have a division with the class of sub menu and we also have a class of grid so let's target this sub menu with the class of grid so here in the style or css file let's type sub menu dot grid and uh, here we'll set the display to grid and uh, for the columns let's type grid template columns and here we need to type repeat and here we'll just type auto fit and then let's type min max and for the minimum value let's type 240 pixels and for the maximum value let's type 1 fr which is one fractional section and uh, we'll also set the text align to center and now let's go back to our design and let's also decrease the height of these icons so for that let's go ahead and target the svg so here we can see inside the submenu with the class of grid we have svgs so let's target this here i'll just type submenu grid svg and i'll just set the height to 42 pixels right now let's go back and uh, here we can see we have the correct height for these icons but we need to have three columns for these services so let's see what's the problem and uh, here we have this typo so let's remove this and uh, we still have just one column so let's scroll up and the problem basically is that we need to have a width set to 100 percent for the parent so here for the submenu container let's tap width and let's set it to 100 percent and now we can see it looks all right 
Now let's also add some padding for these services. So here, let's target the division which is the submenu column, which is inside submenu grid. So let's tap submenu grid, submenu column. And let's set the padding to 16 pixels. And now we can see we have the correct padding for these uh, services. And it looks alright. Now let's also add a hover effect. So here we can see when we hover over this, we have the color of the icon changing. And we also have this uh, box shadow. So let's add these. Let's go back and uh, let's type submenu grid, submenu column, colon hover. And let's set a box shadow. And let's set the values to 0, 0, 4 pixels, 0 RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.2. And now we can see we have this box shadow. And let's also change the color of this icon. So for that, let's type submenu grid, submenu column, colon hover SVG. And let's set the color to E94343. And uh, now we can see that the color changes. So it looks all right. So that's basically it with the services submenu. Now let's go ahead and style this AI art submenu. For that, let's go back to the HTML file and uh, let's see how it is structured. And here we can see for AI art, we have this uh, submenu and in that we have this division with a class of call two. So let's go ahead and uh, style this. Let's go to the style CSS file and uh, let's type submenu call to and here we'll just set the display to flex so that the elements will be one next to the other and now we can see we have this image on the left side and the other image on the right side now if we go back to the original design here we can see that for the left image we have a lesser width and uh, for the right image we have twice the width of this left image so let's go ahead and do that if you go back to the HTML file, here we can see we have these two divisions. We have this division with the class of left and another division with the class of right. So let's style both of these. Here let's type submenu call to left. And for this we'll just type flex one. And now let's target submenu call to right. And for this let's type flex two. So this will have twice the width. And let's go back and uh, we also need to set the width and the height of the image. So here we can see we have these IMG tags. So let's target that. Here I'll just tap submenu, call to right IMG and submenu, call to left IMG. And let's set the height to 300 pixels. And let's set the width to 100%. And we'll also type object fit to cover so that it has the correct proportions. And now we can see we have the correct width for these images. Now let's go ahead and style this button. So for that, let's go back and uh, here we can see for the button, we have this anchor tag with a class of BTN. So let's target that. Here let's type mega menu container and uh, a.btn. And first of all, let's type background and let's set the background color to 023047. We'll just set the border to none. And we'll just set the color of the text to white. And uh, let's set a padding and uh, let's set the padding to 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And uh, let's go ahead and add a margin and let's set it to 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. And let's set the cursor to pointer. And now we can see we have the cursor set to pointer. Let's also set the font weight to bold. So let's type font weight bold. And uh, now we need to bring this uh, button to the right side. So here we can see that the button is on the right side. So for that, let's go ahead and target the right division. So here, let's type text align and let's set it to right. And now we can see that the button is on the right side and everything looks all right. So all these submenus are working all right. And uh, let's decrease the width of the browser window a little bit. And now we can see for services, we have just two items in a row. So that's because we had set this uh, grid template columns to auto fit and min max. So here we can see we have set a min value of 240 pixels and uh, 
now we can see we have just one item in a row and now we have two items in a row and now we have three items in a row so everything is working all right and with that we have completed designing the mega menu for the desktop version now in the next video we will start designing the mega menu for the mobile version so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,